Well, there's no sign that structural deficiencies played a role in the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. A taxpayer watchdog says there are hundreds of other bridges in Maryland in poor condition and in need of repair. Adam Angievsky, CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, weighing in on his findings. According to reports, there's 300 bridges across the state of Maryland that need to be out now replaced. There's 250 of them, about 5% of all bridges that are classified, according to the federal inspections, as structurally deficient. Wow. There are 2 million crossings of cars over those structurally deficient bridges. How does that compare to the, to the rest of the country's bridges? Now, th Is that puts Maryland um, actually against the rest of the 50 states in the top 20 percent. They're the 11th best on the condition of their bridges. West Virginia is actually the worst. One out of every five bridges in the state of West Virginia is structurally deficient. Now, he went on to say that the federal 2022 infrastructure bill still has about half a billion dollars for Maryland, which could go towards updating bridge infrastructure. I'm Megan Gillen, Fox 45 News.